Hello and welcome. My name is Babs and this is Benny and this is my channel Balance with Babs. Today's Limb Flow Yoga practice is all about releasing, feeling better, incorporating some mantras to really target the inner work, the deeper work. So we'll get into something comfortable and come and meet us in a seat. And hopefully Benny doesn't tear my whole thing apart. <laughs> We'll begin by taking a comfortable seat, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Taking a moment to close your eyes if that feels okay, or you can just look down. And then we'll begin a 10 step lymph drainage warm up routine. So we'll start here at the sternal region. So we're gonna take our hands, you can cross the hands like this, or just do one at a time or you can just place your hand right where the sternal notch in between the two clavicles where the clavicles meet and place your hand here so many options many ways do what feels good in your anatomy and then slowly start to make some pumping circular movements towards your neck we'll do about five here four and five good slide the hands up the neck let the shoulders relax then we're going to slowly just pump here so you can place your hands heels the hands together stretching the skin down towards the collarbones and then we'll come to the shoulders tops of the shoulders and just draw that tissue down Ideally, skin-to-skin -skin contact is best. And then we'll come to the shoulders. Stretch the skin of the shoulders as you pump the elbows. And then we'll come underneath the armpits, pumping the armpits as you move through the elbows. And then we'll come to the upper ribs, making circular pumps here. And then the lower quadrants, this time starting to make some circular pumps here. And then going a little bit deeper into the hip crease, for the pelvic and inguinal lymph nodes. And then opening up the legs to get behind the knees. You can do both hands at the same time or take both, take both hands and pump underneath. And then we'll come back <laughs> the center, <laughs> either putting your feet together or just coming back into a seated position. And then we'll take a few breaths here. Inhale as the belly expands. Exhale slowly as it releases. Inhale, expand. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, expand and exhale, release. Awesome, and then we'll slowly come back into a seated position, crossing your legs. And then allowing your body just to settle, close your eyes, and we'll begin our yoga practice. And then if it feels okay for you, we're gonna start by just closing our eyes. And then see if you can, with your eyes closed, just start to acknowledge your physical body. So starting to become aware of where you are in space. So maybe where your feet connect with the earth, where your hips connect with your seat. See if your heart can be right over your hips. So maybe 
open up through the heart space by placing the palms facing up. Finding a little bit more length and confidence through your chest and spine. Maybe just making some slight adjustments to find a secure, comfortable, but stable position to begin our practice together. And then start to notice where in your body you feel the breath moving in and out of you. Do you feel this in the belly, in the chest? Can you feel this through the rib cage? Do you feel any movement through the shoulders or the neck as you breathe? Kindly just becoming aware of how you yourself are breathing in your own body. And then we'll take a moment just to place our hands on our body. So again, kind of wherever they comfortably land. So for me, it's just a little bit of a hug, but for you, it might be to the belly. And then just use this moment of embrace just to set an intention for our practice together of self-love. The body that you're in right here in class is a wonderful and beautiful body. Knowing that throughout this practice we'll change our mind and our body together to feel a little bit more balanced, a little sweeter, and a little softer. And then we'll take our palms together, connect the palms, connect the fingertips, and then just take a moment to rub the hands together. We're gonna feel our own energy. So create some warmth, create some heat, and then cup, so create a ball here. Do you feel that vibration, that sensation through your fingertips? If you don't feel anything, try again, keep rubbing. And then notice, that sensation, then take that ball of energy, imagine it's this healing energy, and then place that wherever you need it. So maybe it's at your arms, your belly, your heart, your head. Taking three breaths here, inhaling through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. <sighs> inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. One more time. And let it go. Release your arms by your sides, palms facing one another. We're just gonna open up through the chest. So gently lift through the heart, lift the chin, just imagine good energy coming right into the heart space as you squeeze your shoulders, taking up space in this earth, taking up the space you deserve, that you own. And then we'll slowly inhale, lifting the arms up just so that the thumbs touch overhead. And then slowly lowering, melting down, the fingertips just rest on the earth. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, nice and slow, lowering down. Right, inhale, lift. Blow the air out. Two more times, breath in to lift. Yay. Exhale to soften. Last one, breathe in. And out. And then we'll again find our hands placed in heart center, palms connect, fingertips connect. And then slowly keeping the hands together, we're gonna to reach those arms up towards the sky. And then exhale, palms face the side walls as you really energetically pull the space around you. Start from the center, you're gonna come up through these major energy centers of your body, breathing in. And then exhale, you're creating this protection layer around you. Inhale, 
lifting through the arms. Exhale. Inhale, say in your mind, I am, or out loud. Exhale, creating a beautiful boundary around me. Inhale, I am. Exhale, creating a beautiful boundary around me. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Nice. If you're seated, you can uncross the legs and then recross in the opposite direction, just getting the body in a different position. Maybe adjust slightly. Hands back to the thighs. We'll sit up nice and tall. Take a breath in. And then exhale, slowly drop the chin towards the chest just to give the cervical spine, the back of the spine here a little stretch. And then we'll slowly lift the gaze back up. Then we'll drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Breathe here, try to relax both shoulders. And then slowly gaze down, drop the chin towards the chest as the left ear comes to the left shoulder. So go slow, doing these little half circles side to side. If you tend to get dizzy or if you have any type of vertigo type symptoms, just stay in one position, just a gentle neck stretch at a time and don't shift back and forth. But mainly just listen to your body, listen to what feels good. If you'd like to take a full gentle circle, feel free. Finding a little intuitive movement here. So maybe scrunching up your face, letting it relax. We'll make our way down the body, releasing tension from the top of our head all the way towards the tips of our toes. And then reverse that circle if you were taking the circles. Again, maybe find a little movement in the face, maybe lift up the eyebrows, feel lightness through the forehead, maybe pucker the lips and then make a smile. All good muscular pumps to promote lymph fluid movement in the face, the jaw, the neck. And then coming back to center, we're going to take the thumb and index, this area right here, and we're just going to gently draw the fluid down. So we just moved a lot of that fluid in the face and the neck. So just doing this kind of self-soothing massage, just kind of allowing the fluid to know where to go. So a lot of lymph drainage, a lot of this lymph flow yoga practice is all about encouragement. It's all about guidance. So once you guide the body and mind, you teach it the path to go, it's a lot more simple to follow. And then you can draw one ear to one shoulder and just gently massage and just sweep down one side of the neck and then the other. And then release the hands, take a moment to pause, take a breath in. Open mouth, sigh, let it go. And then we'll draw our shoulders up towards our ears, back and around. So inhale, lift up. Exhale, squeeze back and down. Feel free to swim the arms with this movement. If you see some shadows from the window, <laughs> they're not ghosts. <laughs> I live right on the Freedom Trail, so when people walk by, <laughs> it looks, I just saw it in the reflection. No ghosts here. Well, maybe there are. <laughs> Good. So just finding some opening through the heart. And then we can get a little bit of a trunk rotation with this. So you lift one arm, maybe look in that direction, and then the other. So finding just a little bit of a freedom of this dance. Notice how it feels starting to move and open through the rib cage, through your sternal region. Nice. And then coming back to center when you feel complete, we'll plant our hands down by our sides and then we'll inhale, reach the left arm up. If you're in a chair, sometimes it's helpful to bring that right arm across the body or you can do it seated as well, just as this little stable position. 
reach the arm up but relax the shoulder so not try not to hike the shoulder too far up and then from here just slowly gently taking a side bend towards the right maybe wiggling the fingers getting a little bit of energy and movement through the fingertips and then from here starting to move again through the trunk so inhale opening shining the heart up towards the sky and then exhale closing it off breathing in and out finding a little movement in the wrist if that feels nice and then just wiggle the fingers let this arm just melt down and we'll take a shoulder roll just to recenter nice and then we'll inhale reach our right arm up left hand can come across the body if that felt nourishing and then slowly start to side bend remembering to reach but to keep that shoulder stable you can keep the elbow bent or you can shoot energy through the arm wiggling the fingers moving the wrist and then again just find that little bit of opening and closing to start to stretch through the intercostal muscles the side ribs good and then we'll reach that arm up and then just melt rain those fingers all the way down to bend and then we'll inhale reach the arms all the way up notice how it feels or it might have changed look up this time imagine you're holding a big beach ball up overhead and then exhale hands come down through heart center and pause take a breath in here open mouth exhale let it go and then hands to the thighs come off of a bolster if you're on the earth if you're seated in a chair wiggle your way towards the edge of the chair we're gonna uncross the legs and recross back to that first position Benny took that as an invitation for me to rub his belly it looks like <laughs> okay he's like uncross what mom <laughs> okay hands to the thighs and we're gonna take some circular movement so if you're in the chair widen the legs and we're gonna place our hands to the thighs I know I didn't forget about you <laughs> And then we're gonna move towards the right thigh, center, left thigh, back and around. So feeling a nice movement through the center of the body, breathing in as you come forward, exhale and around. Allow this to feel like a cleansing movement. Inhale, you open your chest, exhale, round, feel the low belly contracting, really good for any stuck digestion or stuck energy or lymph fluid if you're feeling abdominal swelling or just a loss of power moving this area will help and then reverse the circle also can feel good to lubricate through the hip joints stimulating our lymph nodes in our inguinal or pelvic area nice job everyone good and then when you feel satisfied come back to center and we'll take cat and cow so you can take this in a seated position or you're welcome to join me on all fours so if you come into all fours spread the fingers wide tuck the toes under if you stay in a seated position that's totally fine just place your hands on your thighs and then we're gonna inhale draw the belly the chest everything comes forward gazes forward and then exhale and round and pull the back of the heart up towards the sky. So if you're in a chair, it'll look like this. You're gonna inhale, draw your chin and chest forward as you draw the shoulder blades back. And then as you exhale, you're gonna round. You can even reach your arms forward in the chair. Let's take five more wherever you are. Notice the pressure throughout the hand maybe grab and grip the earth with the fingertips so you feel the knuckles lift breathing in to roll your body forward opening the heart space exhale you roll and feel each part of your spine moving feel free to close your eyes release judgment of the movement of the pattern of the space Every time you come and do this, you will feel different because every day our body, our mind are different. 
take one more wherever you are. And then if you're on the earth, we're gonna slowly come up onto the shins. If you're still seated in the chair, just place your hands onto your lap. And then everyone's gonna reach our arms up, let the thumbs lift up so the thumbs are facing up. Reach all the way up. And then if you're in the chair, scoot your bottom to the edge of the chair. And then as you exhale, you're gonna dive your chest and your chin forward as you reach the arms behind you, nice. Inhale, use your core, use the strength of your upper body to lift you all the way up, maybe look up. And then exhale, use that core engagement, lift through the triceps as you come down. Awesome, three more. Inhale, lift, breathe in. Exhale. Nice, breathe in, lift. Exhale. Last one. And then inhale, lifting everything up, reaching up. And then hands come down through heart center. Hands will come to the hips. And then if you're on the earth, you're gonna just shift your weight side to side. And then we're gonna slowly bring one leg forward, followed by the other, coming to a standing position. So if you're in a chair, you can come behind the chair and just hold on to the chair. Or if you're near a wall, you could hold on to the wall. Or if you can't, Stand, just stay seated in the chair. So here, we're gonna re release our arms, feet hip distance apart, and we're just gonna find some movement side to side. So just a little bit of a swaying movement. Just soften your shoulders. So if you're in the chair seated, just kind of move through the feet. And then if you need a little assistance with balance, hold the wall or hold the chair. If you're still in the chair, move your feet a little bit far forward so you can do this. And then we're going to slowly roll towards the toe side of our foot to come up onto the toes. So lifting the heels up and then exhale, dropping the heels and lifting the toes up. So you can still do this if you're seated. You're going to roll forward, lift the heels, breathe in. And then exhale, slowly lower the heels back down. Nice. We're gonna add on, so we're gonna inhale, lift the heels, lift the arms up, or lift one arm up, and then exhale, drop the heels, release the arms. Nice, three more times. Inhale, lift the heels, lift the arms. Exhale, lower the heels, lift the toes, release the arms. Breathing in and out. Last one, inhale, and exhale. And then we're gonna shift our legs so that they're a little bit wider apart, toes pointing out. If you're in the chair, again, just scooch forward so you have enough room, you can keep the knees bent. Keep a subtle bend in the knees if you're standing so that you engage your muscles versus hanging out in the ligaments. And we're gonna slowly inhale, reach our arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, keep the heart and the chest lifted, but you're gonna go and pretend you're grabbing Benny. <laughs> He's sound asleep, I won't grab him. And then reach all the way up, stretch up, five-pointed star lifting, nice, inhale. Exhale, slowly keep your heart and your chest lifted so you don't get dizzy, nice. Inhale, lift and reach up. Feel free to open up your legs a little wider if that might feel good but we'll just take about five more at your own pace. So maybe think about inhale, reaching up for strength, for guidance, for support. And then exhale, you're coming down for grounding, for security, for love. So think about what you're lifting, opening up to, and think about what you wanna take and bring back with you. Feel this movement through your entire body, strength building in each area of your body through this movement. Breathing in, nice and out. Take, I believe, two more. And 
then your next breath in, reach the arms up, stay here, spread your fingers, spread the toes, stretch, and then hands come down through heart center, pause, close your eyes if you're able to, or just look down at one specific part or point. Take a slow breath in, feel the heart rate, relax the shoulders, connect with that movement of energy through you. So you feel the heart pumping, that's moving the blood, circulating the energy and lymph fluid in your body. And then placing both hands at the heart, over the heart as a way of just thanking your mind and body for connecting and moving. Inhale, thank you. Exhale, body for healing. Inhale, thank you. Exhale, body for healing. And then place your hands to an area that might need a little bit more love or a little bit more healing. And we'll repeat that mantra two more times. Inhale, thank you. Body for healing. Inhale, thank you. Exhale, body for healing. And then when you're ready, we'll come to the top of our mat if you're standing. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees slowly to make your way all the way back into an all fours position. And then slowly come onto the heels and then slowly come down onto your bottom to meet in a seated position where we'll spend just a few more moments together. Close your eyes here, relax your hands back into your lap and maybe just notice, is the breath more expansive? Is your chest and heart a little bit lighter? Are your legs a little bit more grounded and firm? And then you can stay in a seated position, or if it feels better for you, you can lay down on the earth for our last moments of meditation together. So get comfortable, maybe lay on the couch, put a blanket over you, maybe even a little eye pillow next month if you want to bring that. So if you're in the chair, just kind of let your body feel supported and comfortable. And we'll place our hands in our lap, one hand on, on top of the other. If you're laying on the earth or down, you can place your hands on your body to your belly. And then we'll just imagine as you breathe in, your front body expands and opens and clears. And then as you breathe out, you feel your back body feeling grounded, stable, strong, and secure. Inhale, your heart opens, your digestion flows. Exhale, your spine strengthens, you become more stable. Noticing the rise and the fall. Notice if you can slow down the breath. Maybe notice what comes up for you physically as you slow down the breath. Noticing if you can relax the lower half of your body. Relax the upper half of your body. Give yourself permission to relax your mind and your face muscles.
allow the rhythm of your breath to be wonderful, flowing rhythm. With each breath, the energy and lymph fluid moves and pulses through the body, taking the right path to clear, to cleanse, Take a few last breaths to really allow the benefits of your practice to seep in. And then slowly taking a breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Another breath in. Exhale, let it go. And then we'll place our hands together. Connecting the palms. And then if you're in a laying down position, you can slowly make your way into a seated position. Keeping your eyes closed, keeping your body and mind soft. And then taking this peaceful energy through the rest of your night, the rest of your week. Continue to allow the breath to cleanse your body from the inside out. In moments of stress or worry or tension, see if you can take slow, rhythmic, intentional breaths. And I'll leave you with a little bit of encouragement to try the rest of this week or until we meet again. I'd like you to place your hands up to your heart. This is something you can try maybe before you go to bed. And we'll recite the mantra again. As you inhale, you can say thank you. Exhale, body for healing. Inhale, thank you. Exhale, body for healing. And then hands meet one more time and we can bow to one another to share our gratitude for one another. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you, Benny. <laughs> and I'll see you soon. Thank you.